Hey there, I'm Anna Gandrabura, your English and Effective Communication Coach. Today, we're going to have an unusual video. It's a special video. I haven't shared a video like this before. Today, you're going to get a double value, an English lesson and a portion of latest tech news. How about that? I'm super thrilled. Thrilled means excited. I'm super thrilled. I hope you are as well. Are you thrilled? Are you excited? Let me know in the comments because remember, every time you leave a comment, this will help my channel grow. And also every time you like the video, this helps our channel grow. So let's get the ball rolling. I hope you remember what this phrase means. To get the ball rolling means to start. Let's start. And today we're talking about Samson. Samson makes six day work weeks mandatory for executives. Can you imagine? I mean, I can't, you know, <laughs> but I'm a founder. Uh, so like I work every day, I work seven days a week. But anyway, I would like to share this piece of news with you. By the way, news is uncountable. That's why I say a piece of news. I don't say a new or news and news. No, I say a piece of news. And while we read this piece of news, I'm going to comment on new vocabulary, potentially, right? Some of this vocabulary you might already know, but some might be new. So I'm going to comment on what I think you don't know, vocabulary and grammar and whatever else uh, comes to mind, right? Let's get started. Mandatory. The first in the title, we have this word mandatory. Samsung makes uh, work weeks mandatory. Mandatory means it's a rule. You can't say no to this. If something is mandatory, it means you must do it. For example, right now, you probably have a mandatory five day work week, right? So mandatory, the rule that you can't neglect. Okay, so now let's read this piece. Four day work weeks might have all the buzz, but the major tech company is going in the opposite direction. To have all the buzz means to receive a lot of attention. Now, you remember people were talking about a four day work week. It had all the buzz. It had a lot of attention. To have all the buzz, it's like when everyone is talking about this. Let's continue reading here. Samsung is implementing a six day work week for all executives after some of the firm's core businesses delivered lower than expected financial results last year. Now let's take a look at a few words in this passage. Implementing, to implement means to incorporate, to introduce, right? To implement, it's to introduce, to start doing something. Then core, core businesses delivered. Core means essential, really important, very important, the most important, right? It's central, the core, the central part, the important part of something. Core businesses, the most important businesses under Samson Belt delivered results. So you know what to deliver means, right? Delivery, deliver, everyone knows this word. But I want you to remember the, the phrase deliver result, right? So you might say give result, bring result or something, but deliver result is a great phrase to use in business communication and business context, right? So core businesses delivered lower than expected, lower than expected. Yeah, this is easy. Financial results. Moving on, a Samsung Group executive told a Korean news outlet that considering that performance of our major units, including Samsung Electronics, fell short of expectations in 2023, we are introducing the six work week for executives to inject a sense of crisis and make all out efforts to overcome this crisis. Now let's take a look. News outlet. Now news outlet, it's uh, pretty much any newspaper or magazine. For example, this piece of news was taken from a news outlet, which is called Entrepreneur. To fall short means you don't meet anticipated, expected goals and expected standards. So for example, let's say you hoped to get 90% score on your test, but in reality you got 70%. So you fell short of your expectations. That's how you say it, right? So like you expected more, you got less, you fell short of your expectations. To inject a sense of crisis means uh, to uh, create a feeling that there is an urgent problem. Now imagine on a calm day, right? Like good, good weather, everything. You say that the storm is coming. You are in injecting a sense of crisis. So people start worrying. They start thinking about this bad weather that is coming their way. Another interesting phrase, make all out efforts. And it means to try as hard as possible using everything you 
have, all your energy, all your resources. In other words, it's like you give everything you can to win something. The root phrase is make efforts, but you add all out to make it sound like you're doing everything you can. You're trying as hard as possible to achieve the results that you want. And finally, to overcome crisis. Now, to overcome something, it means to successfully deal with something. In this case, a crisis kind of refers to a major problem. You can overcome a problem, right? You can overcome difficulties. This is another phrase that you uh, can memorize. Overcome difficulties, overcome a challenge, overcome crisis. All right, that was it. That was your quick English lesson. Do you want more videos like this? I personally liked it, but please let me know in the comments what you think about this format of uh, your daily video lesson. And of course, I want you to practice new vocabulary that I have just taught you. Have all the buzz, make all out efforts, overcome crisis, make your own sentences and share them in the comments. I'm looking forward to your comments and I'm looking forward to having you back and I'll see you in my next video.